Happy Valentine's Day, everybody, and Facebook family, LICMC. Thank God we're on that today. Hi, Dr. John D. Milburn is right there waving at us on Facebook Live. Well, <laughs> yes, Dr. Milburn, it's because of you that I'm singing, Yes, Jesus Loves Me. <laughs> and we thank God for another day. We also have Dr. Octavia on the phone. How are you doing, Dr. Octavia? Oh, I'm I am really blessed and highly favored of God. Amen. And today's topic is spiritual band aid. Of course, we had a great session this morning with Dr. John D. Milburn oh. preaching about the spiritual band aid. And so now we're going to do it again this evening. We're coming from the scripture of Psalms 147 and 3, and it says, He healed the broken in heart. And bindeth up their wounds. And just before we actually came on, I was, <laughs> I just said, was saying, well, you know, it's Valentine's Day, and uh, you know, telling who's sitting there feeling bad and feeling broken hearted and feel like they need a band aid right now. Some people may be having a good time uh, with their loved ones, but some may not be. And then too. We're looking at the COVID and, you know, people are so used to going and doing things and having fun. So, some people might be wounded in their spirit and feeling bad. So, you know, that's just, that's what we're just talking about Valentine's Day. And just, who knows, this might be just a perfect topic for today. Um, but also, at the same time, we talk about um, the spiritual band-aid of how we just might be broken hearted or, or hurt for whatever reason. Stemming from whatever, even from the childhood, all the way up until an adult. You just never know what a person might have been going through or what they're going through at the present time. So, you know, the best way to go is to go to God because God is the one that will heal us. God will soothe our wounds. God will keep us and God will just bless us to get through whatever situation it might be. Other than that, though, those that are having a good, happy Thanksgiving and those that may not be feeling that great, we're wishing all of you... Did I say Thanksgiving? Okay, we're going to yeah. say Thanksgiving because we're thanking God. But happy Valentine's Day. Amen for everybody. And 
feel good, be happy, and just praise God just for another wonder, wonderful day. So we're going to talk to Dr. Um, Octavia. I know that she's got, before you do, I'm going to ask Dr. Octavia, would she please give us a brief prayer? But I know she's got a great message uh, for the spiritual band-aid. Praise God, praise God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we worship you. We praise you on today for your goodness and for your kindness. Lord, we ask that you would open up the word unto us, unto us today in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you open the ears, open our ears so that we may profit from your word in Jesus' name, Lord, continue to bless Sister London, even now, Amen. in Jesus' name. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Amen. So, Dr. Octavia, I know that is giving you some, something good to give us on this wonderful day. Well, God is good. Amen. Amen. And he's really sh shelling out. Amen. And I'm, you know, trying to get my portion. You know, but you said our, our, the, our verses, uh Psalms 147 and 3. Mm -hmm. Amen. He healeth the broken in heart. God does. Yeah. And bangs up their wounds. You know, so like we're talking about a, spirit, a spiritual band-aid. And we know, you know, in the natural, you know, you, you, you have a sore or whatever, you know, and you we, we put a band-aid on it. Amen. And that's for it to heal. You know, so that we don't get dirt and trash in it, or we don't be picking at the wound or whatever. In a natural, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about a spiritual band-aid. Amen. And only God uh, can put that band-aid on. Amen. But not in, in, in that uh, way. When I said that, in this scripture, he says, he heals, heals the broken in heart and bind it up their wounds. Amen. What he is saying is that, you know, if we have, uh, you know, the broken heart, a broken heart means you're overwhelmed by grief or disappointment. There's something that happened in your life and you're really, really overwhelmed by, by grief. You're broken hearted. Amen. And a, con a contract, um, uh, Spirit, but that's in the other um, uh, in another verse. Amen. Is that we humbly come before God, acknowledge our sin, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, crying out to God. Uh, a, a, a contrite spirit is showing sincere remorse. Mm -hmm. So you know, this is deep, <laughs> deeper than we really think about. Mm -hmm. You know. Because, you know, only he can heal. The, if, you, if, if our heart is, is is torn and we're just in, we're just in you know, deep grief, maybe we lost a, a loved one and, wait, you know, today is on that day. Maybe our relationships haven't went, you know, where we, you know, think they should have went, you know. And we get, we're grieved, we, and we grieve over that, you know. And you can yeah. really get into such a deep uh, Grief and what have you, sometimes some people can't come out of it. Yeah. But we as Christians know, we, we just humbly come before God and just talk it over with him. Amen. And he says in, one, in Psalm 147 and 3 that he will heal mm. the broken in heart. Only mm. he can deep down in, in, the, in, the, in, in our spirit, amen, and operate. Yeah. You know, and heal our wounds, and, and then and then bind it up with His love, Amen. And you know, it it, it was something. You know, what I got out of that, I got I was a little surprised. Oh, I shouldn't have been. But anyway, and also <laughs> that that uh, verse one forty six, it, it's said for us to lean on God, yeah, and follow Him to to continue the process of healing your broken heart. Okay, now he didn't you know he's, he's doing the incision. He done went down in a mm. in, in our, our spiritual in our heart, Ooh. Amen. To really uh, uh, bind up the room to heal the brokenness that's in us, wow. Amen. And that's why you know we got to lean on God. We got to follow Him, Amen. We know once we get a we get a well, we get a little relief, 
hey, I'm on, I'm on the road again. No, we got to continue the process of healing, of Jesus healing our broken heart. You know, God loves us, and he will comfort us doing hardship and all, and then place, place us in a place where we can use the strength to comfort of others. And, you know, and as he is healing uh, our, our, our whatever situation is, amen, with his love and with his kindness, mm-hmm. amen. And then once we are whole, then we are, we are able, we are strong enough, we have strength, amen, to deal with the situation, amen, praise God. And, you know, and then we can get relief, amen. And I thank God for that, you know, because we know that God is able, right? Amen. 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 But you know, it's it's really something. It, um, that spiritual uh, um, band aid, my God, it's it's really, really. <laughs> but um, you know, we do say we we do so so much, and 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 then we get into situations where we thought that we had the control over, and find out that we didn't, and then we are really crushed and broken. <laughs> uh but the Lord knows, and all he wants us to do is to come to him and pour out to him. We don't necessarily have to pour out to other people, maybe mm-hmm. professionals or something like that. But, you know, you just take it to God. And we, and then we'll have to tell the whole world because he will take care of it and, he ain't gonna t- and he's not going to tell anybody else. Amen. And, you know, I, I thank God for that. But, you know, this is just so, this is so good because, you know, just... Just, you know, know that he will heal us uh, spiritually so. Because, you know, a lot of people have gotten church hurt. Mm. You know, best friends have hurt them. Mm. Situations have hurt them. Talk have hurt them. You know, and then you you draw, withdraw into a shell, you know. And that's mm. what God doesn't want us, you know. Uh, I know one thing, God said he will fight for us. Mm-hmm. Amen. We got to remember that. You know, he's uh, he's our father, and he's looking out for us. You know, and if you know, you know, whatever's going on, he, just come to your your father. Yeah. Lord, I don't get into it again, or so and so really really hurt me. I want to go and slap him. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you just go and just be truthful because he, he knows what's going on in your heart. Amen. He just wants to hear it from you. And that's when your healing starts, yeah. when you're pouring it all out to him. And he knows, and he understands, he knows what you've been through, he knows what you're thinking and what you're going to say, but he wants to hear you uh, uh, to say it. You know, and even, even the psychiatrists, you know, if you're there, they'll tell you, you know, but what do you think and whatever. They try to get you to talk, talk it out so you can realize what's going on. So just take it to Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Because he is able and he can do anything but fail. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, in uh, Job 5.18, it says, for he, he makes sore and binds up. He wounds. And his hands make whole. Amen. So in other words, what the uh, is saying in Job, he he allowed different things to happen to Job. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing happens without God not yes. knowing it. Yes. Amen. So we find that, you know, he, he allowed different things to happen, happen in our life, you know. But, you know, Job, he didn't listen to his friends or whatever. His faith and his faith belief was in God and we know at the end of uh, end of the joke he won he got everything back yeah. you know that the, the Lord had allowed to be taken from him and you can say well maybe well uh, in that case uh, he got in Job got in sackcloth and ashes and you know he's repenting, repenting but he really didn't have nothing to repent of because he hadn't did anything mm-hmm. you know so we just look at like if he had or did something, amen. But, you know, uh, we just have to, he knows he didn't do anything. So he went before God, you know, humbled himself and went before God. And a lot of times when we get into in things, it may not be our doing. It's somebody else is doing something to us. 
Mm-hmm. You know, and so, but you know, God, He is right there to help us. Amen. Amen. And in uh, Jeremiah, the 30, 33rd chapter, 6 verse, it said, it means to behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them. Amen. So he's the one that gives us health, and he's the one that does the, the, the cure all, whatever's going on in, in our life, all our diseases, all our sickness, he cures them, and it's up to us to accept it by faith. And I, I thank God for that. Amen. 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 But you know, it's that you know t- today in this world with everything, with the what's in the headlines and everything yeah. that's going on. Yes, yes. You know, you kind of worry. You know, you think about well, you know, you, this can't be true. All of this here, you know, falsehood and fake and this, that, and whatever. But God is allowing it, and He has a reason for it. You know, so you know, so but you know, and then you know, since we've been out of church, we you know, uh, you know, you have more time to lay before God, and then we have more time, you know, uh, to seek God because we're not running all over uh, the city or, or the world. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's a two, it's a two for blessings for the saints of God if we will only obey the word of God. Mm-hmm. And I have one more scripture. And that's Luke 4 and 18. And this is Jesus speaking. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart, hearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, mm-hmm. to set at liberty them that are abused, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. Yes. And he was just letting those, the, and, and he was in the center of God, he was just letting them know, hey, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Jesus was letting me know, I'm the person that can do this for you. Amen. Believe in me, and it will happen. Yes. Amen. But he says, his, he, uh, to heal the brokenhearted. Amen. So that's why I was saying we got to take it to Jesus. He's the only one that can do that spiritual surgery mm. on our heart. Mm-mm-mm. Amen. And I, I just thank God for that. Amen. Amen. In um, that uh, spiritual bandage, uh, band-aid, oh, I like to see. He, he probably got a big one going on in the inside of him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. But all he had to do was one touch or just speak one word, and it's all just, or you just think, and we're healed. Yeah. And we just have to accept it. Amen. But if we come brokenhearted, humble before God, and just pour it out to Him, Amen. He'll take care of it. Amen. 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 Why? Because the Bible says so. Amen. Because Jesus said so. Amen. So that that should seal anything. It's not that, okay, um, my best friend said this, my friend said, well, you go and, and, and do whatever, whatever, go in and, and apologize, you know, go to the uh, Ford Hospital, maybe they can do something for you, <laughs> something like that, mm-hmm. but just go to Jesus, yeah. as you said, come to Jesus, yes. just as we are, amen. amen, and talk to him, amen? Wow. Hey man, I like this spiritual this surgery you're talking about. Mm-hmm. He, like he, 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 if he has to go in there and remove something and make spiritual incisions and remove it, or if he has to go in there and patch up the wound, or he has to go in there and and uh, you know sometimes we have wounds that are getting infected, which kind of reminds right. me of we have inf- infected in our spirit from mm-hmm. whatever whatever we've been carrying around for so long. And uh, however that we feel, like you said, somebody could have said something to you. Somebody could have done something to you. Right. Uh, and, and seriously, on a serious note, um, some things do happen in life that can really, really be hurtful and really, really be horrible. Right. And um, that, uh, you know, it's like that, that sore, that wound can fester and become infected. So when you yes. said surgery, man, my mind went a whole, you know, it kind of had going somewhere else with that. I said, wow, God, <laughs> God had to go on the inside because this is the kind of thing, you know, 
that this is called wound care. You know, uh, you know, in the physical world they say in the medical world they they have wound care care nurses only certain type of wounds have to be attended to but to you uh by someone that's experienced in that wound type of wound. You know, so you got you got different kind of stories where maybe you just fell and you cut your knee. You know, you go home and you just put a band aid on it, but or you might have something that's more of a wound that that uh it, it needs to do to get another special kind of care that's coming right. from the inside out sometimes wounds fester from the inside and they make it to the outside of the body that, that's really deep right there because mm -hmm. that's how it is in our lives sometimes our heart is hurt our mind is is been hurt and uh you know and i i mean i'm gonna i can recall i'm just gonna get it kind of personal now it was years and years and years ago okay yeah i mean i I think maybe I'm so dramatic. I can be I can be the drama person or or make the drama because uh you know if anybody's ever been hurt so bad, I said, Oh my god, they just took my heart and ripped my heart apart. You know, you're all like, Oh, this sounds so tragic. You know. Um, it could have been uh, a relationship or you know, like you said, sometimes you you, you might have been a good friend to somebody and uh, and then all of a sudden, when it, you know, if, when you think they're in your corner, they just like spit in your face, you know. Right. Now that kind of thing will kind of smash your heart up real good. Just <laughs> go like, well, I, well, you know, everybody may not be like you. You know, some some people are compassionate, and some people are. are I like what you said, fake. There's no, it's not, some of us are not fake. You know, we don't pretend. But when it when it gets down to it, when when uh, it's time to be there and be real. Some people are real and are there. But it's like right. the same people that when they get ready to go through, the people that you have been down with, had their back, been real with, if something goes on in your life, they just, next thing you know, you don't see them anywhere. You don't, they have like totally evaporated. They didn't just right. leave it. You don't, they just disappeared, you know. And um, then if, you know, once God just brings you back and they see you made it out, oh, they come back again. Uh, but then by that time, you see the true colors, you know. So these right. these kind of things people live with about, and so we just have to learn how to forgive, and we have to give it over to God, like you said. Yeah. Because it can mm -hmm. be as uh, it, there's a scripture I wanted to bring up too, um, because it sounds like we call self inflicted. We inflicting our own selves uh, a lot with the pain because we won't let the pain go, and then sometimes it's like maybe you don't want to let it go because you're just mad about it. And right. I'm just going to hold on to this because so-and-so did this, this to me. And meanwhile, it is just eating you up. And so now we call that self-infliction because you you just, you know, you made a choice to hold on to it. You know, right. and this scripture, something that you said, God can touch you or God can look at you or just think it. And this scripture right here is Psalms 107 and 20. It says he sent his word. He right. sent his word and heal them and deliver them from their destructions so we can cause our own destructions that's their band-aid that's that band-aid syndrome again of, of what we can do to ourselves to hurt ourselves because um we are willing to do something other than what god has told us to do or we got ourselves caught up you know in a situation and and so we're just we can't we can actually destroy ourselves cause our own self-destruction but thank God for his grace and mercy that he comes and he looks at you and going, okay, let me go <laughs> over here. Right, right. It's like a, it's like a wounded animal walking through the forest or like a, a deer or whatever. And, uh, the trap is out there. I mean, you know, I, I've never seen it, but you know, you see it in the movies when that trap closes. It's so, it causes so much pain. You just can't get out. You know, right. if somebody don't come deliver you. You could just you know, die from wretched pain, you know? And just being mm -hmm. so bad that he could just die. So, you know, thank God for his grace and his mercy and his love for 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 rescuing us many a time, you know. And so, you know, that's divine order of God, too, because sometimes, um, if, like something you were saying about going to God, humble ourselves, being obedient to his word, ask God to mm -hmm. forgive us so and help us to come out of sin. Because that's right. what sin is made to injure <laughs> you get caught up in sin you know you think you think you got it under control no as soon as you as soon as you open up the gate 
to go in that direction. You are letting all the demons come in that want to come in. And, and the scripture says they come to kill, steal, and destroy. <laughs> you know? And so what's so good about this is even in your wounded period, where have you have allowed these things to come in, no, we're talking about anything. We're talking about the, the life of sin. We're talking about being tortured uh, within ourselves because of whatever happened. Some people have are tortured by spirits that that that's harassing them because because of whatever you know. So we we have to be really open to God because God so God can deliver us. He said, "I'll deliver you from it all." So you know, a lot of times we talk about physical pain and physical wounds and healing in the body, which we need. But then we need, God covers the whole territory. Like you said, that band-aid is so big, it just covers the inside, the whole, your whole being. Sometimes we need all of that in order for us just to be, to start to heal. But that healing also comes in the mind. You know, we have to get our mind in a, in a good place. And then we, we just have, the, that first thing is John three sixteen for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if we can just do that one little thing, it's not, you know, it seems he just doesn't ask much. He said, just believe. So we can get to that point where we can believe and surrender over to God. God can, that's that old man. He can just take all that old stuff. He can wound up, heal up all those sores. Uh, we got cuts and bruises. What's that one scripture you said about some bruises? Or was it something that, I, yeah, you read about the bruises. You know, he says, uh, uh, preach deliverance to the captives and recovering uh, sight to the blind and set the liberty to them that are bruised. So you can beat up all kind of ways from the inside out. We got self, we got, we got stuff we got to deal with from the inside in our own self. And then you got, then while you're dealing with that, here come a bunch of stuff from the outside. So you get beat up from the outside and beat up, <laughs> get beat up on the inside. And so... Yeah, you might as well surrender over to God so God can come come and deliver us from these situations. You know, the Spirit of the Lord uh, come in and reside in us. And I'm telling you, God can just, He can change, He can remove that bitterness, you know. Well, because we were talking about that, was it Thursday, how, you know, when you have all these, these issues and, and pain and, you know, whatever you carry on the inside and then you know i said well the one demon brings about another one so now you're hurting then now you hurt because you're mad about something then you're mad about something and now you're bitter and now you're bitter so now how many things are we going to carry and all this is, comes inside of us and just cutting us up rip, ripping us up festering in us that's where that infection we are infected <laughs> we need surgery real bad and we need god to, to pour his 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 antibiotic in there, which is the Holy Spirit. We're going to keep talking. We're going to talk up on something, right? <laughs> right He'll pour right. that antibiotic in there. The Holy Spirit come in there. And, you know, God is miraculous. He's He's quicker than any physical thing. You know, if you just give yourself over to the Lord, you can see how miraculous. We call it miracles, but that's the way God is 24-7. Come in there, Amen. change it around, turn it around, and totally make it vanish from you. And then, you know, when, you, when you're when you free, you don't want to go back. You want to let that go. So a lot of that starts with we have, we have to forgive so some, so that pain can subside, so we can move on, you know. Right. We don't walk around carrying all these shackles. A lot of times we're shackled by our own, uh, our own uh, situation, our feelings, our hate, our hurt. You know, and we're not passing it off like, you know, it's so easy because I know... Many people, probably everybody that's living, they have been hurt some kind of way. You know, some people have hurt, are hurt so bad they can't stand it. Too, they just say, "I'm going to, I want to end it all." And you know, that's when the enemy gets a hold of you. The enemy. What did you say? I think you saying kind of referring to that, um, Doctor Octavia, about how we start to feel real depressed and real down. You know, right. and it's just too many things that come with hurt and pain. And we, right. Seriously, Amen. we do need that the spiritual band aid, which is the word of God. And like you said, all he has to do is think it. He said, I sent the word. He said, I sent the word and healed them. Right. And Amen. delivered them from their destructions. So he's letting us know a lot of the, the issues we have is within us. You know, and or what we're doing or what we could be doing to each other. 
like you said, sometimes one person may not be doing that, but you but you involved with somebody that is. It's nothing like being in a in a two in a one sided type of a relationship where the one person is doing the giving and all the loving and uh, caring, and the other one does not care and is not giving anything and take 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 take. You know, and so I'm gonna reap the benefits off of that real good person right there. And meanwhile, the other person is going through so many things because now they're caught up uh, in this in this relationship. So it's just I'm telling you, this thing can go on and on and on and on Amen. nonstop because I'm sure somebody can can relate to this in some shape, form, or fashion. And like you said, sometimes people do need to get professional help because I think we spoke of this, you know. And just to be All real, right. there's Amen. people that have been growing up, have been sexually abused, have been taken advantage of. Uh, you know, people some people at their most vulnerable moments, somebody that's looking for uh, uh open prey to come and attack you while you while because you are vulnerable and, and you know, it's just a, it's kinda it's the world is a trip, I'll tell you that. And 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 some people do some really hurtful things and you wonder how how could they do that. So we do wanna em- empathize with people. We're not just talking because we wanna empathize with with the pain and with the hurt that somebody has gone through, somebody there's no funny stuff, and it's it's no joke about getting hurt because it can affect your whole entire life of how you think, what you can do, and if you allow this to take you over, it will stop your progress. It'll slow you down. It'll it'll put you in a depressive mode. It might put you in a stupor where you just feel like you just can't make it. I won't, don't know how to make it, you know, and just stuck. And, you know, all of this is a ploy of the devil just to hold you up. So, you know, we pray about that for people that's hurting in all these different ways. People that's hurting because somebody did something to them, you right. know. And uh, we, we got to take it to God and ask. Only God can help us to forgive. I mean, some things have been so deeply hurt that it just seems unforgivable. But even though the scripture says you got to forgive because God just gives us. So so we have to take it to God because we can't do it. You know, I can't do it in my physical mind. You know, sometimes I can even think about some things that the Lord delivered me from and uh, from a marriage or whatever that I was in. And uh, you look back at it and go, like, oh my God, that was, you know. So, but it's something that you, if you dwell on it forever, you know, you can be in a stupor, you can stay hurt, you can even get physically sick because that hurt and pain can make you sick. You know, like Amen. really physically, it can mess with your, with your health, you know. And meanwhile, you know, we got the other person or whoever did what they did, they're, they're living a happy, busy life just like nothing ever happened. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they might have even said, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I did that. Then they're gone and they're just happy doing what they do. And then, then you know, you don't want to be sitting there carrying that that burden, that load, that pain. You know, and some people have don't apologize. And some people, they go to the next stop, you know. So, right. it's just, the people say, it behooves us to find, to give ourselves over to Jesus Christ. He's the answer for everything. He's a spiritual band-aid for where we need it all over our body. He's got enough to take care of each and every one of us all over this world, all at the same time, and and heal those pains. And uh, like you said, give us give us that that you say. Well, did you say it wasn't an incision? Make an incision and, and take right. it out and and heal you all up at the same time. You know, and sometimes right. you think about it when you I do have a wound, how you have to treat it. Or or of injury, you have to treat that, but it will heal. You have to keep treat. You got to treat it good. You got to do the right thing. And that injury, God is so awesome how He made our bodies to heal. You know, sometimes people say, "Oh boy, that's kind of jacked up." I don't know. You know, and look around there. You, if you wasn't healed or whatever the issue was, God is healing you up. So and you begin to feel yourself uh, rise up. God will raise you up bring you up and, and make you feel good, make you happy, make you strong, but you can look back and see from whence you came, right. and then you can praise God for just delivering 
you from the situation because he'll let you look back one day and say wow that was that was rough and i'm so glad god came and delivered me i'm so glad i chose god you know and think again god is a sovereign god in that first little piece i was talking about how sometimes we get like that deer you caught in that trap and you just can't get out you know and it's you screaming and hollering you know and you might not even call God. You just so feeling so jacked up. You just out of it. And God is He's so sweet and kind. Even at that, He'll come over there and uh, deliver you out of that and relieve your pain. And then he, then He'll treat you so you can heal. So through the Word of God, through prayer, through faith, and then accepting Christ in your life and being obedient. I think you just read all that in that one scripture. He mm-hmm. wants us to. Uh, be obedient. Now, here's the one in Jeremiah 17 and 14. It says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save right. me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. So, he's talking about inside out healing and deliverance and being saved. He's talking about everything and all about us. God knows all about us. So, Amen. so we have a part two to this uh, that is coming up. You know, trying to get get that because, you know, some of these topics, there's so much to it that it's almost like you need a part two. The part two was looks good on the outside, wounded on the inside. And we can use the same scripture and, and expand even more. It's like somebody said, don't judge the book by its cover because it looks good. <laughs> to you, you don't know what's going on inside that book. So, you know. But God, but through the grace of God, we are healed. And so that, I think that is a great topic. And I thank you, Dr. Octavia, for being here today. Talking about, oh, that, about that spiritual band-aid. God is, Amen. God is a sweet God. He's so sweet and awesome to us. And he loves us dearly. And the love of Jesus alone heals us. They say by our his stripes we were healed we are healed because he loves us so you see what he did right so (laughs) healing is already there we just need to get ourselves uh in that right position we need to go to god and just and give it up just do what he says so i'm going to ask you uh dr octavius anything else you'd like to say uh to do that invitation to christ uh okay i think i think we really uh, uh, cover this portion, and we, we're gonna look forward to part two. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And you know, um, I just like you know to say that if you know if anyone is listening that's under the sound of our voice, Amen. And you are heavy hurting or downtrodden or whatever, you know, take it to Jesus. Yeah. You know, He's the only one yeah. that can heal you. And I just like to say just a little prayer, Amen. And we we'll, because we're gonna take it to Jesus, Father yeah. God, in the name of Jesus, yeah. Lord, you know who that we are praying for, the ones that think that they don't have a way out mm. and don't know how to solve the problem. They are really broken hearted. Mm-hmm. Lord, we're asking in the name of Jesus to bind up the broken heart. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, speak to the to their spirit, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. You know, and just love them, love them, Lord, yeah. love on them, Lord, and uh, and we thank you, Lord, when we praise you for it. And another thing I read in the in the scripture that uh, listen for God's love, Amen. Amen. When He's talking, listen, you you know, with your spiritual ears for God's love, Amen, and you will be healed. We just thank, we thank God for that, and we would just like to say this. Um, all our, our, our message also was about uh, salvation, mm-hmm. and in Romans ten and nine it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Mm-hmm. Amen. And you know um, the. Uh, Christ went to the cross for us. Yeah. Amen. And, you know, uh, God's salvation is right in front of us. He will come to us wherever we are. All we need to do is to respond and accept 
his gift of salvation. Amen. You know, a lot of people say, well, how do I become saved? Amen. The, that verse, uh, Romans 10 and 9, just told us that you should confess with our mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is uh, the Son of God, that I shall be saved. And it's, it's that simple. Amen. We just want to believe in our hearts and say with our mouth that Christ is the risen Lord, we will be saved. Yeah. Amen. So we're going to uh, uh, say a short prayer. Amen. And, you know, you mean it from your heart. Amen. And the Bible says, if you do, and you believe and you mean it, you know, you will become a born-again believer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come to you right now, just as I am. I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins, all of my wrongdoings. In the name of Jesus, mm. Lord, you said in your word that if I confess my sins, that you are faithful and just to forgive me of all of my sins. Amen. And that is the word of God. So, Lord, I'm confessing to you that you, I know that you are the son of God. Amen. And we thank God, and I thank God for uh, what you have done for me on the cross of Calvary. And thank you for your salvation. I thank you for uh, for forgiving me of all of my sins. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Dr. Octavia. Okay. And I just, I was one more thing I want to say is uh, 2 Corinthians um, 12 12 and 9, rather. And it says, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So that's the part when we give it all over to God. In, in, even in our um, weakness, God will come and make us strong. It, it, um, our strength is made perfect in weakness. So, right. you know, Amen. God God has uh, has it covered. And it's something this morning that uh, Dr. Milburn said. He said, just turn it over to the Lord. Amen. Mm-hmm. And he'll work it out. And he will work it out. It out. All the way. <laughs> amen, amen. Yeah, peace, joy, happiness, and all that good stuff. You'll be laughing yes. and, and full of joy. That's only because God gave it to you, and you'll be super happy. Regardless right. of whatever happened, no bitterness. God will take all of that kind of thing. Amen. And, and uh, bless you with a, a good, wholesome, peaceful life. So, I'm going to... uh. Sing this little song again. We, <laughs> we miss Miss Janice wherever she's at. <laughs> I've got to find her and see what she's doing. <laughs> but anyway. Amen. It's a perfect little song uh, that we sung when we were all little kids and then the grown folks too. So mm. just to, God. Uh, God. Was, everybody know that God loves you, 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 and you. Let's Amen. see if we can get this thing to work right here. Y'all, Facebook and LICMC, please be blessed. Happy Valentine's Day. Have a good rest of your day and the rest of your whole entire week. Amen. Let's be thankful unto God for all that he is doing. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, I'll sing that. Consider all those near thy hands have made. I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. I power throughout the universe day. Sings my soul. 
Well, praise God. That was a surprise song because I was going to sing Yes, Jesus Loves Me, but <laughs> that popped up. So, amen. Thank you for that song. That was that was sweet. How great amen, amen. thou art with a way to end the evening singing. How great, great thou art. So, thank you so much, Facebook family and LICMC. Dr. Octavia, we love you. And thank you, Dr. Milburn, for watching and everybody else that's been popping in and tuning in. Remember, God is that spiritual band-aid. And that song, that last song that we sung, How Great Thou Art. Now, I guess that's going to be another topic, huh? <laughs> God bless you, everybody. Have a blessed weekend. Okay, God bless. Bye-bye. Uh,